Hi everyone, this is Ahmed Abdurrahman here from Semito Group. Today I'll guide you through the process of extracting the magnet BH curve uh, data from a manufacturer's uh, data sheet. So uh, this is particularly crucial when exploring new magnet materials, especially uh, when we're talking about motor design, for example. So picture this, like you are diving into a new magnet material, especially for motor design. And where is the first stop here? So the first stop is going to be the manufacturer's website, right? So basically, you visit the website and you get the data sheet like you see here. And this data sheet will showcase those pH curves at different temperatures. But what happened next, like getting the actual BH curve data, sometimes it's kind of a waiting game and other times it's just not available. So today, what I'm gonna show you is basically uh, a nice move that you can do in order to uh, pull out that data more accurately from uh, the data sheet. Uh, and this, uh, like, thanks to Maxwell Sheet Scan uh, tool that makes this um, available. So, without further ado, let's dive into this. So, basically, here is the uh, BH curves, like as you see here, at different uh, temperatures, and you want to extract this uh, data. So, what you do here? So, first step is basically to save this as um, um, a picture. So let's grab the snipping tool here. And from the snipping tool, basically what you're gonna do is take a picture for this grab. Let's say, okay, that's your picture here. And then save it. So let's save it here as, um, magnet pH curve. So you hit save. And as you see here, that's for uh, 35E um, red earth magnet material. And then you go to your uh, project as you see here. So that's your um, interior permanent magnet motor, for example, and let's see you want to investigate another material. So you go here for the material of the magnets and go to properties, and then you want to add uh, a material, for example. So if you want to add a material here, what you're going to see is if you want to define the relative permeability, so you have the option to define a nonlinear and you have this pH curve as you see here. But what I uh, what I have right now is um, just a picture. So how can I convert this picture to a uh, data set? So what you're gonna do here is basically you go to Maxwell 2D and then hit design data sets. And if you see here, so if you hit add, so that's if you have like um, a spreadsheet, for example, that you have the data in it. But if you don't have it, so you can go and use this sheet scan here and if you go here and let's maximize that so basically what you're gonna do is first import this picture so picture load picture and then you import this picture here so first of all you need to define your grid or like how uh, the tool is gonna read this so First, you go to coordinate system, new, and once you hit this, you will see three points that will define your coordinate system. So basically what you're gonna do is first select point one, and let's select the origin here. And you can see like the coordinates. And point two, you have to define like the scale for this, so let's see, this is the point. So I hit this point. So I have to define X value here. So it's negative 1600. And then 
point three. Let's define this here. So the y axis, the maximum y axis here is one point two. So once you did this, then you hit OK. As you see here, a grid has been created uh, marking actually the three points that you defined. So what you're going to do second is go to Curve New. So as you see here, this will allow you to define multiple points that will define your uh, BH curve. So basically, if we hit OK here, then you have this cursor here that allows you to define uh, the curve. So let's see here what curve we want to uh, extract. So let's, let's say like at 100 degree. So we define first point. You can see marks as red here. And let's define second point, third point. So you keep track like that. And the more points you are defining here, the nice data you will obtain. So, and as I go along here, you can see on the left, like it's uh, capturing basically the points. So let's go here, try to take as much points as we can. And especially for the knee curve here, you have to be like taking more points in order to capture this curvature. So take, try to take as much points as you can. So once you're done here, then you go ahead and save this. So let's save it. And then you can export it. You want to export this as a data set. So you hit here, data set. And then you uh, close this. So you will see that it will be uh, imported here. As you see, a nice BH curve. And you can see like the scale here. Uh, if I make this bigger, so you're going to see that, okay, that's negative 1,500, and that's 1 1.2, and you see a nice curve like that. Uh, so basically, you can export this here as, let's um, put it like 35E, EH curve, and Let's save it here. Done. And then if you go here to a new material, nonlinear pH curve, and then you want to import data set. So you go here, data set here, then you have like this pH curve. So I hope this helps. Um, thanks so much for watching.